Hello, and this is Moose Cold. Uh, welcome to my Skyblock series. So this Skyblock series is a little different than your traditional one. If we hop down, you can actually see that straight away, where our dirt platform is a little different than normal. So it's just one layer. So I'm using the mod Carpet Sky Additions. So this is a carpet-based mod. Um, also the same mod used by Il Mango in his recent Skyblock series. I was heavily inspired by him. Go check, go check out his series. His stuff is incredible. Incredible. So this mod features a few things that aren't in the vanilla game but are very vanilla-esque. So I'm going to hop over to a creative version of this world and show you some of the stuff. So since some things aren't renewable, <laughs> almost died there. <laughs> <laughs> in Skyblock, uh, or they're very, very uh, annoying to get, like sand, um, this mod had added some new features. So one of the first ones I got to do while it's still nighttime is mushrooms spread mycelium, just the same way Podzol works. So I had to do that janky little setup. <laughs> but as you can see, Mycelium just spreads like Podzol, really cool. I love Mycelium, so I'm actually really excited to try and figure out a way to farm this. Um, in the same way you can make um, a renewable dirt farm with like moss or, you know, something like that. The other really nice feature that I think is really interesting is the dead coral fan turns into sand over running water, which is really cool. So if we wait here for a second... There it is. So this is how we're going to get renewable sand. Um, there's ways to fully automate this. There's ways to just do it manually. That's like still pretty quick. <clears throat> we'll figure out if we want to fully automate it or not. The last one that I wanted to show off super quick was taking a thick potion, which has no use um, in regular Minecraft, which is like its own whole thing. But when you use it on a stone block, you get deep slate which is really cool. Um, even in vanilla Minecraft, there's no way to generate deep slate. Now, <laughs> there's billions of deep slate in every every world, so not that it's a big issue, but you know, it's interesting that they found a vanilla way to add in renewable deep slate. All right, so let's head back to the survival world and I'll get started. So I'm just gonna ramble a little bit while I'm gathering my first few things. Talk about some goals, some ideas I have, what I want to do. So I'd say one of our first big goals is obviously just food. Um, this one's actually pretty easy. So all we need to do is build a little spawning platform, get some skeletons, and then we can bone me all this grass here, get some seeds, and go from there. Uh, the big thing that I want to try to do is make, I would say, like, semi-educational content. Um, so what I mean by that is I'm not a super technical player, uh, but I like to understand how farms work, and I like to design my own stuff. So throughout this series, I'm going to be designing pretty much everything that I build. Uh, so there will be some creative world testing, you know, and just, like, figuring stuff out because it's just so much harder to test things in survival, you know, with block placement, and then I can tick warp in creative and not feel bad and all that. Um, so I do have some previous game knowledge. I'd say I'm a pretty decent Minecraft player, which sounds kind of funny to say. Um, but I just want to design my own stuff. So I was just hanging around for a second, and <clears throat> I was reminded of why I almost went with birch trees for this challenge, um, and here's the reason. <laughs> I hate these. I hate these so much, um, but we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So obviously, first up, we need to figure out how to make a mob farm. So I'll talk about this a little bit more um, as... I build it, obviously, and kind of test out the way I want to do it. But mobs 
are actually attracted to solid blocks. And we can use that to our advantage if we build an entire farm out of non-solid blocks. Um, and then kind of use their pathfinding to kind of suck them towards a hole. You know, just use trapdoors. And they fall down and we can kill them there and everything. Um, because a mob farm is going to help us start the game. Because if you've noticed, something I've actually failed to mention is that we don't have water. So I guess we do technically have food, right? We have apples. So we do technically have a food source. Although that's not really that big of a deal. It'll be a big deal for converting, you know, villagers um, down the line. And that was actually a decision I did make. But um, the big, big thing is water. If you don't have water, you can't really do anything. So the way we're going to get water is by <laughs> waiting. <laughs> Getting a cauldron um, and having it fill up slowly. <laughs> Filling water bottles that we get from witch drops in our mob farm. And we'll get the iron from the cauldron, if you don't know, from zombies. Zombies have a, I think it's a 1% chance to drop iron if it's player killed so oh my god I have not even been using my axe <laughs> so yeah mob farm is definitely super high on the list that's like literally the first thing we can do outside of maybe getting some crops Look at that, our first apple. So, I'm gonna farm, I'm gonna farm some wood. Maybe try to get a little mob grinder, like before we head down to Y0 to really start farming stuff. So I'll be back in a few minutes. So while we're waiting for more trees to grow, as you can see, I've kind of got my tree platform semi set up. There's a few things I think I think uh, <laughs> there's a few things I think I should talk about. Um, like how do we get in certain things? How are we going to farm certain things uh, to make this make a little more sense? Because as you can see, unlike some other skyblock worlds, there's no outer islands that have the other trees that have hidden chests in their islands. There's nothing like that. We started with a dirt platform, a singular, a singular sign, which I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> Said, welcome to Skyblock, if you didn't see it. Um, and an oak tree. So where do we go from here? How do we get stone? Just how do we get cobblestone? It's like the most basic thing. It's like the first thing you get in Skyblock, right? Um, normally, at least. So the way we're getting stone, and it's actually a long time down the road, we're actually going to be getting villagers before we even get stone. Because, so sorry, I just had to double check on some stuff. I didn't want to give out any misinformation. So like I said, we're actually going to be getting villagers before we get stone because the villagers' gifts is actually how we're going to get a lava bucket, which does make it renewable. We can also... Put it over dripstone, and then that's our renewable source. You know, put a cauldron underneath, and then it'll fill up. But how do we get villagers then? So we need gold, right? Um, and we can't access the nether, and obviously there's no gold ore around here. So what we have to do is we have to breed a bunch of pigs, hundreds, maybe thousands. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll have to do some math. But we have to breed a lot of pigs. <laughs> um, and then use a lightning rod to convert them all into zombified, zombified piglins. 
And then the piglins are going to drop gold nuggets, which we can then use for golden apples. And then uh, the one thing that you guys, or something you guys might already know is witches can throw potions of weakness. And so that's how we're going to convert them. I'm sure you've seen that in other videos before. Um, it's super duper useful. And then, so we get a villager, we convert it. We actually do need two so we can start breeding them. So we'll have to do, we'll have to get just enough gold for two golden apples. Um, and then we have to defeat a raid to get the hero of the village so that we can get gifted a bucket of lava. Yeah. So the way we're actually going to get grass down there into the void is getting an enderman to pick one up, put him in a boat so that I'm safe. <laughs> and then um, and that's how we're going to silk touch it, which is super nice. As far as nether blocks go, um, most everything there is renewable. I know that when you spawn in to the nether portal, one side is the, um, the warped or, oh my God, what are they called? There's one side is the blue, the warped <laughs> netherrack, and then you have the uh, the crimson netherrack. Are they are they just? I don't know. Warped fungus, but mm, I don't know. We'll have to check on that one. <laughs> what those blocks are actually called? But yeah, just still waiting for more wood to grow. We're getting there soon enough. I'll just build a little mob spawner to try to get some bone meal to get these growing faster and get some seeds for some food. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. So I also thought of something else that I should probably talk about. Like I said earlier, I'm playing on a modded version of Minecraft, but a lot of it's vanilla stuff, quality of life stuff um, that I get to show you. So I'll just talk about the mod pack that I'm currently running. So the base of all my mods is I use the fabric API. Um, don't ask me exactly what it does. <laughs> all I know is it's needed so that I can actually run all the mods that I have. I don't use CurseForge or anything like that. I mean, that's where I download my mods, but uh, no, I don't use the CurseForge launcher or anything like that. Um, I just use a vanilla launcher. So, on top of fabric, I use carpet. Um, so, carpets for a lot of testing, um, and not that I'm, like, super duper familiar with everything that it does. I'm still kind of new to it. But one of the really nice features is, like, tick warping. So... <clears throat> You know, you build a farm and you want to test it, but you don't want to have to sit there for like six hours to see if it works or not because you're like testing designs. Um, so you can just warp, you know, 10,000 ticks or whatever, however long you want to warp forward. And that way you can iterate a lot faster and not just spend so much time AFKing, which is super duper duper nice. So the other mod that I use is Tweakaroo. Tweakaroo does a lot of, like, in-game stuff that I really, really like, um, especially if I'm going to be, like, making videos. So one of my favorite things about Tweakaroo is free cam. So obviously if I were in a vanilla world, this might be, this might be bad because you can just, like, x-ray, <laughs> kind of, just look for, like, chests and, you know, strongholds or whatever. But obviously that's not going to be happening here. There's literally nothing else but my little platform. Um, and it's really nice for showing farm designs and then also like troubleshooting. You know, um, if you have these like complex redstone designs, you like can't fit in some of the spaces. And so FreeCam is just going to let you say, oh, hey, 
that repeater's facing the wrong way or something like that, which is really, really cool. And then one of the other things that I really, really like is the like adjustable, flexible block placement. Um, so what this does and what's really nice for pistons and just building in general is you just get to place blocks essentially however you want. So, you know, if I wanted a block right there, I wouldn't have to put that block there to get to it. I can just select this little box. It'll be super nice. So this won't be how I bridge down to zero because that does feel a little cheaty. I'll, I will do the grind of the trap doors and I'll kind of explain that stuff when I get to it. Um, maybe the end of this episode, maybe the beginning of next episode. We'll see. Um, and then I also have Light Matica, which I'll probably use pretty sparingly, especially in the beginning. Um, because like I said, I'm not going to be stealing other people's designs. Um, I'm going to design my own stuff. However, if there's a build that's like big enough or complex enough, I'll probably just, you know, make my own light medical file just because it's so much easier to build than going back and referencing my own world, doing all that stuff. Um, so that's why I have it. It's super nice. I get to make my own designs. And then lastly, um, the Carpet Sky mod, like I had said earlier, that one just fills in a lot of the gaps. Um, that's how it's been put uh, that <clears throat> vanilla skyblock has, you know, deep slate, sand, um, tall flowers. Notably, tall flowers are sold by wandering traders, which is really, really cool. Um, wandering traders got a few other changes that I'll look at because eventually I will want a wandering trader platform. Uh, so... We'll look into that when we get to it. But yeah, that's pretty much all the mods that I'm using. I'll be back in a little bit. I think it's time for me to build that mob farm. The mini one. <clears throat> oh, God. All right. That's not that big of a deal. Um... <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, it's just annoying more than anything else. <clears throat> okay, well, uh, I wish there was an achievement for that. <laughs> First death. But here we are. All right, I guess time to gather some more wood. Ah, uh, that does remind me of something. So if we go into advancements, there should be wood. Hmm, so there should be more advancements. Um, oh, here, okay. Okay, I'm, I am literally just blind. <laughs> so there are additional advancements, which is actually really nice. Um, they kind of give you an idea of some of the progression of the game. Uh, so accidentally... Accidentally got the get down <laughs> achievement because I literally just fell off the world because I'm a goof. Um, but like I said, like I said, trap doors are going to help us get down to like Y0, you know, where our farms are going to work a lot faster. And it gives us a little trap door like, hey, gives us a little description like, hey, you know, this is how you're going to get down there. Um, <clears throat> you know, and it shows us, okay kill a zombie and then it'll tell us hey you can get iron you can get carrots you can get um soak touch tools um so that's actually funny it says easier than enderman but yeah there is this extra advancements tab which is really really cool and then obviously our our typical minecraft advancements so i think it would be really cool if we could just <clears throat> you know get get all the achievements 
I think that'd be a great goal for the series. Obviously, we are a long way out from that, but it's certainly doable. So I've just had the bright idea to build a composter. Um, <clears throat> need more wood for the mob farm. Uh, and I don't know how I didn't think of this, but our, all of our extra saplings can just be turned into bone meal. Um, now, that's not going to be a faster way of growing trees, but that's not really the plan anyways. Um, mostly, we're doing the bone meal just to get some seeds. So I'll check back up with you in a little bit. So I just finished up my mob farm design, my very, very almost barbaric <laughs> farm design. Here's how it works. So I built this spawning platform away from my base. Mobs are going to spawn at night. Um, so obviously I'm far enough for them to spawn. And then come daytime, they're all going to burn up outside of creepers, which I should be able to take care of any creepers that kind of spawn in. Um, this way, I don't have to deal with skeletons like shooting at me or anything like that. Uh, I think that's a recipe for disaster. Really, all I'm looking for is for a few bones to maybe just have some food uh, because soon enough, I'm going to be heading down to Y0 and building a real mob farm. But we do need some bones for some food to hold us over till then. So we have our first mobs. Look at that. I actually did get a skeleton to spawn in earlier, but he didn't drop anything. Um, and it was kind of an accident. So luckily just the zombie noticed me. Otherwise the skeleton would be um, killing me right now. <laughs> but yeah, the plan is hopefully he'll drop some bones. So I can get some seeds, get some wheat, get some food. So before I even killed any mobs, I should get my first bone meal. Exciting times. So let's see if this gets us any seeds. Um, not looking super promising. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Well, it is what it is. These go back in the composter, and we try again. All right, so sun's coming up. Got a decent number of mobs. Looks like enough skeletons to hopefully get a few bones. We'll see. I'll let you know when they're dead. <laughs> okay, all right, that's good. Okay, that is also good. So what we can do now is, I'll probably need to make another set of trapdoors. It's upsetting. <laughs> Actually, let's see, so they'll think those are full blocks. just need to lure the creepers over here. They'll fall down. I really don't have any use for gunpowder as of right now. And spiders are friendly. Ah, screw it. string that'd be super nice when we want to make a bed that's how we'll do it which we might do soon but we want night as of right now so i'm not too worried about sleeping i'm also not too worried about phantoms uh because we're on y63 so they spawn at y64 as far as i know um, we'll find out soon, and then as soon as we go down to Y0, they won't be an issue at all. But, let's see if our plan worked, if the waiting was worth it. So, 
There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. So now. I just need to make a hoe. And. You guys might know this. You might not. Who knows? But you do not actually need water to grow crops. So they won't grow on their own, like at all, without any water. But with bone meal and everything, they will grow, which is super nice. So I'm going to grind for some food. And I'll be back in just a bit. All right, so something very interesting actually happened while I was gone. Uh, maybe I should have caught it on camera. Um, but <laughs> the rain gave us wheat. So I said rain can't grow without a water source. And that's, I mean, I guess, you know, technically true. Uh, the one exception is if it's raining... Uh, it will dampen the soil and give you wheat. So I think, because I'll probably get a few apples from all these, oh, <laughs> all these trees that I'm growing. Uh, I think there's only, yeah, there's one left that hasn't grown. Uh, and this should be enough to get me through building my mob grinder. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to probably farm a decent amount of wood before I head down. Uh, and hopefully I'll get some bones while that happens. Although I doubt it because it's raining. So we'll see. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. I feel like we got a decent amount done. I'm pretty happy. I uh, did a lot of talking <laughs> this episode. There's not much to do early game. So hopefully next episode we can do a little more building. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.